Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Always so happy to find you here. I do upload on Monday and Thursdays. So when you subscribe, and please do subscribe, you will be notified when I have uploaded new content for your view. And of course, my pleasure. And it is my pleasure. I am probably following the upload. I'm probably going to follow this with the upload that I did just on Tuesday regarding um, entering into the career field, meaning someone that's not quite in their career, but is um, starting their jobs moving the job to a career, I would say. So that'd be somebody that's, what, 24 to 35 age. And I'm following that because someone asked me the question about obtaining the, the kindness commodity. Now, I've used that reference in trainings before. So this is a person that is familiar with my um, approach, I'd say. And that is this. I, I view the kindness commodity as a genuine level of kindness and respect of the workplace. Understanding that not everyone's going to always agree, get along, or even with one another, but to be so respectful that the kindness is apparent and to do it in such a way that it isn't phony. I'm saying that to say this. I never thought that kindness was a commodity until I began to not see it so much. And what is a commodity? Something that's precious, often rare, something you value, something you want to attain and retain. That's a commodity. So having said that, when I say the kindness commodity, I mean your approach. So I've made this reference before in the past, not here, but just in, in general. Um, and that is, are you the person today after however long you've been at your company that they interviewed that day before you got the job off. Because see, that's the impressive person. That's the person that is what I would say pouring themselves out, putting their best foot forward, wanting to have this gig. Almost like dating, I would say. When you first meet someone, you put your best foot forward. You are trying to learn something about them and they about you. But I believe that whatever you present should be authentic. That there should not be a surprise as to who you are after knowing you a few months, a few weeks, a few years. So this is what I mean by the kindness commodity. Um, would they hire you again? Are you that same person at that interview? Now, I understand that we grow and we develop and great. Um, and the skill sets that we acquire from just um, OJT, on-the-job training. That's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to the whoism of you, the embodiment of you, the character of you, the personhood of who you are. That's what I'm talking about. Because that's who keeps appearing are not appearing. This is why at times a person can become so positional as they climb up the ladder, positionally egoistic, that the kindness commodity lessens and the ego grows. And it's hard to deal with that person. Now, what happens is they have been trained along the way as to how to properly conduct themselves whether they do or not. How to answer those audit questions, whether they function that way or not. This is why you have people like Harvey Weinstein. This is how you have people like Matt Lauer. Now, those were Me Too movement, sexual harassment issues, but this is how a person can even get to that point where they think 
they can do such a thing. Did they develop that way? Or was the opportunity becoming to them where they didn't think they could get caught or they thought they were, whatever that is, is of their personhood to begin with. Now, that old them years ago would have said, I would never do that, that you're projecting out that I'll do eventually. But no one thinks they do. Did you become that or did you always have it within you? Is what I'm saying. So when you show yourself at work, on a date, trying to get to know someone, are you that person a year from now? Or is the real you rising up? This is what I mean by the kindness commodity. If you are naturally that, if you are, and again, no one's perfect. If you are becoming on becoming check yourself it's okay fine tune it you want to lose five pounds you go to the gym you do the things to lose five pounds you want to improve yourself self-improvement do that but whatever it is find a place that other people will look at you and go you know that's a great guy you know that's a great girl because you're a good person now I did, a, I did a video months ago about Mike Tyson where he was being interviewed and he said, people always talk about what a great boxer I am. Nobody ever introduces me as a good guy. I want to be introduced as a good guy. So hopefully you're a good guy or you're a good girl. And I hope that just this little snippet about how we treat one another. Another thing about this treating one another is if you're a person who shuns another person, that is a direct problem within you that you should address immediately. Let me tell you why. Shunning, um, ignoring, ghosting, avoiding, um, all of those type of not dealing with the person is a sure sign of immaturity of a hurt that's in the past that you can't fix or haven't fixed. There's no other way of describing it. It's like saying those fatty tissues, you don't see them, they're within you, but you see them in the love. That is the only way that happens because the person was either hurt and they don't want it again. So the bad behaviors start growing and growing. Well, how can you be caring if you have so many bad behaviors? So, so nothing wrong with fixing those things, but fix them. How many more poor relationships do you want to have? Fix them, okay? And I hope that you have enjoyed this. Just a short little, I don't know how short it's going to be, but... A little intention that kindness does work. Kindness is a commodity. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've gotten this far, please click subscribe and bring a friend with you next time. And I love you. Bye.